All right, thanks for watching. And today I wanna to solve what I call a wave-ish equation, which is just a generalization of the wave equation. But I just wanna show you that in this class, we're focusing on just three main PDEs. The wave equation, Laplace's equation, and the heat equation. But I just wanna show you that Everything that we talk about also holds like for more generally general hyperbolic, elliptic, and parabolic PDE. In particular, let's solve this method with the same method we solved the wave equation. So notice you can write this in terms of differential operators as simply d squared over dx squared minus 3 d squared over dx dt and then minus 4 d squared over dt squared u equals zero and that you can just factor out one more step let's see if i have a better marker well but that, that's even worse let's see if i have an even better marker probably because better than the, anything's better than the infima uh, uh, better okay so x squared minus 3xt minus 4t squared i think you can factor this out as x minus uh, 4t and then x plus t so x squared plus xt minus 4xt minus 4t squared so that works so in other words this thing you can just factor it out as a product of two things so this is d over dx minus 4 d over dt and then d over dx plus d over dt u equals 0. So if you call this v, then what we get is that vx minus 4 vt equals 0. But this is just a simple transport equation whose solution, I believe, vxt it's little f any function of x plus 4t or maybe 4x plus t let me just check uh yeah 4x plus t sorry about that always check your answer right you want to differentiate with respect to x which gives you a 4 and it should cancel out with this minus 4 so you just put t all right, so that gives you v, and then to solve for u, use that u uh, solves the following equation. So ux plus ut is v. So v is, remember, ux plus ut. So basically, ux plus ut equals v, which is f of 4x plus t. All right, now you want to solve this equation. And again, it's an inhomogeneous equation. The best way to solve it is first to solve the homogeneous version. So let's first solve ux plus ut equals zero. And that just gives you uxt. It's any function, I believe, of x minus t. And then you want to find a particular solution to this. So because the right hand side is f of 4x plus t, just guess capital F. So again, we just want to find one particular solution. So guess uxt, it's any function of the antiderivative of f of 4x plus t, and then just plug this into our equation. So then we want ux plus ut to be little f of x plus 4x plus t. So we have a capital F of 4x plus t with respect to x plus a capital F of 4x plus t with respect to t. So basically, using the Chen Lu, we get a capital F prime, so a little f of 4x plus t times 4 plus a capital F prime, so little f of 4x plus t with respect to t equals f of 4x plus t. Let's cancel out f of 4x plus t and we get 5a equals 1, so a equals 1 fifth. 
So in particular, our particular solution becomes one-fifth f of 4x plus d. And so to find the general solution, it's just capital G of x minus t plus one-fifth f of 4x plus t. So this is the general solution. Okay. So uh, one-fifth capital F of 4x plus t plus capital G of x minus t. But basically this whole point was useless because if capital F is arbitrary, then one-fifth capital F is arbitrary. So from now on, we just focus on f of 4x plus t plus g of x minus t. Okay, that's good. So we're halfway done. So uh, six minutes in and halfway done. Now we just need to plug in the initial conditions. So, all right, now all we need to do is just plug in the initial conditions which I like to remind you, ux0 was x squared, and utx0 was e to the x. Okay, now to find ux0, you plug in at t equals zero, so ux0, that becomes f of 4x plus zero, plus g of x minus zero, and that becomes f of 4x, plus g to the x, so g of x, and we know this is x squared. So that's our first equation. For our second equation, you differentiate this with respect to t, so u t x t, that's, so f prime of 4x plus t, and minus g prime of t. Because remember, you want to uh, uh, differentiate this, you know, with respect to uh, t, not with respect to x. And then what we're left with is ut. Now you want to plug in t equals 0. So ut x 0, that's f prime of 4x. So, I forget. Uh, uh, there was x minus t. Minus g prime of x plug in t equals zero, and we get that this is e to the x. Okay, good. So we know basically f prime of 4x minus g prime of x equals e to the x. And well, to get an identity with f and g, you just integrate. So you integrate both sides, if you want, with respect to x. And just be a little bit careful, namely, if we had f of 4x prime, then no problem. If you integrate that, you get f of 4x. But that's not the same thing as f prime of 4x. In fact, an antiderivative, think like e to the 4x, becomes 1 quarter e to the 4x. So 1 quarter f of 4x, and then minus g of x equals e to the x plus a constant. So that's good, so that is one identity. The other one was this one, f of 4x plus g, to g of x equals x squared. And then you just solve for those, so uh, you solve for f and g. To solve for f, for instance, you add both equations and you get 5 quarters f of 4x equals x squared plus e to the x plus a constant. So f of 4x is 4 fifths x squared plus e to the x plus a constant, sorry, uh, plus 4 fifths e to the x plus 4 fifths constant. And therefore, if f of 4x is that, f of x is simply you replace x by x over 4. So 4 fifths x over 4 squared plus 4 fifths e to the x over 4 uh, plus 4 fifths constant. I'm not even going to bother to simplify this because if you have more complicated functions, uh, you can't simplify. So, mm, okay, if you want, it's, uh, I think, uh, 4, uh, uh, 
Oh, four times that's 20. Yeah, x squared over 20 if you want. And then, okay, so that was one thing. And then, now we need to solve for, uh, we solve for f, we need to solve for g. So you can do this equation minus four times this equation. So g of x plus four g of x, that is x squared minus four e to the x minus 4c, didn't, I guess I didn't foresee that, <laughs> 5g of x equals x squared uh, minus 4e to the x minus 4c, so g of x is x squared over 5 minus 4 fifths e to the x minus 4 fifths times c, and lastly, so we found f, we found g, and uh, just to have our formula, so I don't remember the formula, but my whiteboard is so messy, I can just read it off. So it's f of 4x plus t plus g of x minus t, and that becomes, so 4 fifths, 4x plus t uh, over 4, squared plus uh, 4 fifths e to the 4x plus t over 4 plus 4 fifths c and then plus x minus t squared over 5 minus 4 fifths e to the x minus t and then minus 4 fifths times a constant and notice before we were scared that there was a constant, but now it's not too bad because it cancels out. And then, um, therefore, our final solution is simply that. Which, if you want, you can simplify, but it's Sunday, 8.15, uh, and I still have to upload like 10 videos, so... For now, we just call it the day. And again, the whole point is this whole process that we learn also applies to more general equations. All right, I hope you like this little extravaganza. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.